Yeah, I think he's probably dead. Seven Days to Die is all about zombies and building things. Yeah, it's pretty much like Minecraft, but the trees are distinctly more tree-like. And gravity affects everything. Scavenge for bits of scrap metal. Turn that into iron ingots. Watch the deer do its merry dance. And eventually craft your own pickaxe. Stuff we've all become accustomed to. But this game has an auger. You can just open up the cheat menu, spawn an auger, just start obliterating everything. The ground, trees, even the zombies. It's brilliant. A friend of mine got me this game. He'd been on about it for ages. Although I think he might have initially bought it for his girlfriend. The user named Susie Bear kind of gives it away. And although building things to survive against zombies is good and all, my favourite thing is the TNT. Who doesn't like some good old fashioned explosions? Nobody, that's who. So now it's time for When Things Explode, the comprehensive guide of things exploding. Do cars explode? Yes. Do signs explode? Yes. Stop knocking down trees with your hands, you dirty peon. TNT is the answer. Free trees for everyone. Remember when you're placing TNT around an abandoned house in the woods? Always remember to leave an exit strategy, otherwise this may happen. No, this is how you correctly destroy a house for no real reason. But will we be able to pull off the most daring feat yet? destroying a whole street's worth of houses. Yeah, of course we can. Just don't expect the frame rate to keep up. Seven Days to Die is available now. You know, if you like explosions. There may be zombies. This game was made by a robot, which is disturbing. Uh, well, not a robot, a computer program. Look at this description. This game is about a disgruntled child, a founder. And then it says things like, I use some sound effects from Freesound, like the sound of ship.